Hi, this is Steve Blozos from NXP. I'm a product manager for I2C devices, and today we're going to be talking to you about the new ultra fast mode uh, solutions from NXP. Uh, when we first started, you know, I2C was 100 kHz, then went to 400 kHz. There was a high speed mode at 3.4 megahertz, and then uh, we came out with the fast mode plus, which is at 1 megahertz. It uh, lowers system costs and it's more flexible uh, because you got the higher speed and then you have the higher drive uh, just within the devices itself. With Fast Mode Plus, we could only go to one megahertz and it was bi-directional communication, so it's normal I2C. For Ultra Fast Mode, this is really designed for uh, applications where you're controlling LEDs, uh, some LED controllers, you have some fairly complex patterns or you have a lot of devices on the bus and you want to have a faster uh, throughput to these devices, but you don't want to read back from the devices. So the uh, 5 megahertz ultra fast mode, uh, the master sends a start condition, a low on the 8th bit following the slave address. The master sends a stop to terminate the communication. The master always transmits 9 clocks per byte, controls the setup time, but the slaves do not return an acknowledge bit on the ninth clock cycle or send data to the master. So the ultra fast mode follows the I2C pr uh, protocol um, with all the start and stop conditions and then the address, the bits, but the, the slave never acknowledges there's no output on the SDA for the slaves. So it's always clock and data just go in one direction, driving whatever the, uh, the LED controller will do. So you can take a look in, in this kind of application we have here. We have a device, the PCU9669, which is a bus controller. It takes eight bits of parallel data through the bus controller, it's got a fast mode plus port, which is bi-directional, which can go to LED controllers or stepper motor controllers. Or for the ultra fast mode ports, it goes to the LED drivers on separate boards, driving those boards. And there's uh, three main devices used for the ultra fast mode. PCU9669, it's a three channel bus buffer. It has the uh, eight bits connection to the microcontroller and then there's multiple uh, lines of control. It's got a 4K uh, byte buffer going to each one of the channels. This device has a fast mode plus channel and two ultra fast mode channels. There's other, other devices with just a single fast mode plus channel or uh, one ultra fast mode channel uh, or the uh, PCA9663 has three fast mode plus channels. But this is the device that hooks up to the microcontroller providing fast mode plus or ultra fast mode channels to the device. And if it's an ultra fast mode LED controller, we have two different types. Uh, PCU, U in the part number means ultra fast mode, 9655. There is a PCA 9655, which would be a normal one megahertz fast mode plus bi-directional LED controller. But here the PCU 9655 is a single direction ultra fast mode, 16 channel uh, LED controller. It's a voltage uh, switch uh, so it actually just turns off and on the output with a pull-up resistor which controls the current of the device. And then the PCU9955, uh, again ultra fast mode with the U, if it's an A it would be a fast mode plus 1 megahertz device. This is a constant current device where you actually can set the current that's being driven through the pin uh, to have a little bit more consistent uh, current through all the LEDs. But otherwise it operates the same as the other device. Uh, it has PWMs for each one of the bits. It's a global PWM, so 256 steps, 256 steps, constant current. You can adjust the current through software or there's a resistor to adjust it. Uh, different addresses for the devices. And you just stick it on the ultra fast mode bus and you can send data up to five megahertz. So you can have more devices on the bus. Uh, you can talk to them much more quickly. But again, ultra fast mode is single direction. Um, it, uh, it doesn't reply ever back to the master. Data goes in one direction. If you need some more information on these devices, they're all released. You can look at nxp.com slash interface, contact your uh, NXP account manager, or you can write to us at i2c.support at nxp.com. Thanks a lot and have a great day.